Hi there, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and today is the November Energy Update. Okay, so for the month of November, you want to stick around to the very end because I'm going to be doing an activation. So for November, we've got the energy frequency. When I was checking and tracking the energy for November, what we're dealing with is what I call the bottom falls out. Okay, so when you think about the bottom falling out, you know, what does that mean? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Okay, so I just want to remind people that there's energies happening because of how the planets are aligning, uh, different times of the year, veils thinning, you know, like the, we're in that, uh, the new moving into the new paradigm. So everything is shifting and changing. You might be noticing how seemingly time seems to be going even faster, you know, like it's just like flying by like really, really fast. That's the acceleration. Okay. It's not that time is actually moving faster. It's the energetics of everything that makes it feel as though things are moving much faster. Okay. And, you know, the whole issue around, um, you know, clearing out your subconscious is going to make a huge difference in your life. So, when we think about the bottom falling out, what I what do I really mean by that? Okay, well, think about this. November is, you know, the election. There's many things happening, lots of people with their belief systems and they're right. So just think about that. Everybody is thinking they're right. So if everybody's right, <laughs> we're going to have some problems happening here. But the bottom falling out, what it really means when, we, when we're dealing with healing, consciousness, all that kind of thing, basically, the energy of uh, our lives, you know, the experience that we're having in the world, uh, where we're, you know, some of us are facing ourselves, unraveling our subconscious, some of us are on a healing path. But the thing is, is the entire world is in the crucible. The entire world is affected by the energy frequencies and what's happening energetically, okay? So when the bottom falls out, what it has to do with is a lot of the um, beliefs and the misperceptions and the conclusions and your way of thinking and your way of being and what you've hold important and that matters to you, what you seemingly believe doesn't matter to you or that's not important or your, you know, the fault finding you have or the judgments you have externally out there. When the bottom falls out within your own self, okay, this is about you. It's about your journey, your experience. It's about your own evolution. It's about your soul's journey. And when we have all these misperceptions and beliefs and conclusions about life, which everybody does, okay? Everybody. When you have all of those things running in your subconscious and the bottom falls out, how cool is that in some ways? All these things that I just label it's like they come crashing down, falling down, okay? So let's just say you've got some kind of belief that, you know, that, that you know, love and light and, you know, joy and happiness, and if you just hold that, then all will be well, okay? So bottom falls out, whoa, all of a sudden you're hit with a reality. Oh, not all is not well. <laughs> oh, my whole world just changed, okay? Okay, that's what's going to be happening. So think about this, you know, you don't really know yet what your true beliefs are or what you hold dear to you, or, you know, it's like what you'll discover though, is the belief systems, the misperceptions and conclusions that you've got about life, your life, the world, humans, all of that is going to shift and change. Okay. There's something about November where the bottom falls out, where, you know, what, what people wanted, what people hoped for, you know, the the illusions, delusions, all of that. It's just going to, it's like exposure will be happening. Things will be shifting and changing energetically. Um, you know, like, for example, with the election coming and what, what that's the, the fallout from all of that that's going to be happening. 
belief systems, we're going to start seeing even more people claiming different things, accusing people of different things. You know, we've already got things getting set up so that, you know, showing that the election is being rigged, things of that nature, um, all kinds of stuff's going to be happening. So there's a, you know, like what you're believing, you know, it's like there's a, that fight, that battle to be right, you know, to, um, you know, to prove that you're right or, you know, different peoples want to be right and proving different things in the world. And, you know, it's like, it's like all of that is the buildup that we've been building, people holding on to these belief systems that this is right and this is not right. And then this side over here, that's not right or that this is right. We're right. You're wrong. All of that. Okay. So all that right and wrong stuff, it's like the, it's just the bond's going to fall out. Okay, in your own world, in your own life, where are you holding things that, that you know, all these beliefs that you're having, okay, all the beliefs that you've grown up with, okay, it's like everything, the bottom's falling out, and it has to, that's the good news, it has to fall, it needs to fall out, okay, we need a total reset here, we got all kinds of stuff happening in the world that shouldn't be happening, but it's happening, now, how did it happen, oh, co-creation, oh, belief systems, hmm, so, now think about this, when you look at um, like different religions, okay, a lot of people are finally turning away from, you know, religions that um, people were living all their lives. Somehow they're feeling and knowing that something's not right here. Something isn't true and real here. Okay, there's got to be something more, something better, something different. There's got to be a higher truth that you're not finding in religion. Okay, so bottom falls out. Belief systems, okay? All of it. It's, got, it's going to be revealed. It's going to be um, um, exposed. And it needs to be. It has to be. So this is a time we're in these final stages of the shift, which is major, the shift of the new paradigm, the shift of, you know, the coming out of that Piscean age, the, the darkness, the negativity, the hidden. You know, think about that, all the hidden stuff, all that dark hidden stuff. It's all coming to the surface, all getting revealed, and the bottom is going to be falling out of many, many, many things that people were holding on to and believing. And, you know, you spend your whole life with these belief systems, and when these belief systems start to shatter, it can be very um, frightening. It can be very discombobulating for, for, the, for the person, for people, for humans. You know, think about it. You've got something righteousness. You've got all this righteousness. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Okay. Whoa, I wasn't right. <laughs> and we know how people are. Nobody wants to admit that they've been wrong. Okay. We don't want to be wrong. That means, you know, we, we have humiliation, we have shame, we have regret. You know, we don't want to go there. Okay. But bottom falling out, you'll be going there. Okay. All these things. It's like I'm looking at all the energy. It's like, oh wow, it's like this. I've just got an, just got another image coming in. It's like this. Just imagine that, you know, you've been holding all your beliefs and, you know, being right and righteous and, you know, proving, you know, all that good stuff. I see all this weight happening on that energy, you know, but you got lifetimes of stuff weighing on this, on your belief systems. And then all of a sudden, now what's happening is at the bottom falls out. Okay. All those things that you were holding, believing, they just fall away, fall away, fall out. Okay. So this could be something that could be very uh, upsetting to a person. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, yes, I had that. I knew that. I was right. I knew. What? I wasn't right? Oh, no. Okay. And it, it shatters. It shatters everything. That's another thing. Uh, you know, as the bottom falls out, the frequencies in the, hum in the human body, as I'm looking at the the structure of of the of humans of people and the belief systems all the emotional attachments and emotional beliefs okay so here's the thing none of them are true and real but you believe it so you've got all these energy frequencies in your whole field okay like when i look at people's body like energetically looking at someone's body okay and i'm looking at all the belief systems and as the bottom starts to fall out as that energy starts to move the whole system, your whole energy system, and your, your whole physical body, and and all the different energies within your own body, it's like a it's almost like a like a shattering happening, you know, like a 
all these intense holdings, belief systems that you've been holding in place, when they when they start to dissolve and shatter and clear and release, fall out, the whole being, your whole being gets recalibrated. A whole restructuring has to happen. It's actually a good thing, okay? Because think about this. If you're holding on to beliefs that are simply not true and real, okay, and people kill over their beliefs, okay? I mean, that's a death. People kill over these beliefs, okay? So you have these really strong beliefs, and then something awakens and you realize, oh, you've been killing people over your beliefs. You may not be killing, literally killing, but you will be punishing people, hurting people, judging people, ostracizing people because of your beliefs, okay? So what happens when we start to wake up to things that were not true and real, it can be devastating, it can be shocking, it can be traumatizing, you know? So it shakes our whole reality. But the good news is, Think about this, like when I look at people and I look like track back into childhood, looking at people in their younger lives, early lives coming in, growing up and the ego and the false self getting created and developed. Okay. And in that, all these belief systems, this is good. This is bad. This is right. This is wrong. You're not good. Judging people, judging others, judging the self, punishing others, punishing the self based on these false foundations. Okay, so in order for our lives to change, in order for us to start really waking up, we, we need the rug pulled out from underneath. We need these false belief systems to shatter, dissipate, dissolve, so that the true energy, the true light of who you actually are can start to shine forth. And I'm just going to remind you, in the core of who you are, in your being, in your body, in your psyche, in your subconscious, in the depths of you, in the very core, is your divine light. There, everyone has it. Even demons have it. Any sentient being has it. Anything that has awareness has that light. Okay. That light is creator consciousness. Okay. You know, you all know you, you know, you everyone's heard this one. You're made in the image of God. Do you really think it's a human body? No. It's the ability to create. It's consciousness. It's awareness. It's creation, creating. So you move away from all that, you hide your light with all these misperceptions, conclusions and beliefs, create that false self, false, you know, who you not are really not, but become thinking, and then you become this righteous person and think you're better than others and, you know, judging people and know more than anybody and hurting people, punishing all that good stuff. So, you know, the new paradigm is not about that. The new paradigm is about and a softening. It is about connection. It is about caring, compassion. It is a time where we're no longer feeling that total separation. It's like my clan against your clan. You know, we're enemies. It's not about that. It's about coming together. Okay. As we all know, crisis literally pulls people together and often takes crisis to, to actually get people to come together, okay? We got crisis all over the, the planet happening, major crisis, and still people aren't coming together yet. So this is the bottom falling out. November is the bottom falling out. And again, coming back to the structures that you've got, all your belief systems, all the, the misperceptions and conclusions you've created, those are going to start shattering. When that bottom falls out, Literally, it's your subconscious. It's all the belief systems that are, you've been holding. And as that opens up and falls out, this frequency in the body, you know, the physical body, all those energies that have been held stuck in place because of your belief systems, you know, you're tight, rigid, okay? And as that starts to shatter and, and unravel, your whole energy field starts to unravel. Like I'm looking at physical bodies and like, again, it's the entire body. But when you start shifting and shattering these, these hard, hard core belief systems, it's like you don't know where to go. There's nowhere to go. So it can feel as though you might feel lost. Okay, Lo feeling lost. Okay, That's an intense feeling to feel lost, okay? You might feel shattered. 
Okay. Being shattered is intense. I mean, it's an emotional energy. It's an emotional experience and an emotional frequency that you're experiencing. So when you're feeling shattered, it's intense. Okay. And if you're feeling discombobulated, if you're feeling lost, I mean, all of those kinds of feelings, emotions are quite intense. And the key is don't try to get a grip. This is the other thing. <laughs> You've been getting a grip all your life and it hasn't worked. Okay. Now it's like, it's just, it's that let go. It's letting go of your beliefs, letting go of your misperceptions, letting go of being right, letting go of changing other people, letting go of your behaviors that have nothing to do with anybody else but you. Okay. We all think we, we know more than other people that we should, you know, we tell people how they should live. Do we like it when people tell us how to live? Okay. So we have all these energies that are going to get woken up, <laughs> shattered, dissolved, exposed. Okay. So bottom falling out, I mean, it sounds like a bad thing, but on another level, it's a really good thing because, because, because you actually really want to know the truth of who you are. Okay. You actually really want to know your purpose here. What are you doing here? Okay. You actually really do want to know who you really are. Okay. You do want to know. And there's something inside of you that actually knows there's something bigger happening. There's something greater. There's something powerful that you don't even know what that is. Okay. And when we have all these frequencies of the ego and the structures and these belief systems, we can't see and know truth as easily because we have all the, the, the blinders on, the filters, we can't see. And we've also lost touch with our own knowing, you know, like, how did that happen? How did you lose touch with your knowing? I mean, really? See, here's the thing. Everyone's born with the knowing. You got, everyone's got higher levels. They're always guiding you, talking to you, showing you the way. Okay. But we shut it down. We start listening out here. Oh, don't do that. Don't think that way. Don't believe that. Uh-uh-uh. You're bad. No, no, no. You're going to go to hell. Oh, I guess I better stop being and, and trusting my own self. I guess I better be listening out there. Okay? So we've all done it. How can you not do it? You know, when you're little, you're going to look to your parents. How can you not? Okay? But you're not a baby anymore. You're not a child anymore. You can feel truth. And you can, you know, look at your own selves. You can feel yourself, okay? And all your reactions are all part of, you know, your wounding. If you're having reactions about anything and everything, that's a red flag letting you know you got some unconscious wounding in there, okay? Reactions happen because they're hitting something within. And this is a fact, okay? Clear up your wounding. You don't have those reactions anymore. You don't have those thoughts anymore. That dance is done. Okay, so the bottom falling out in my world, this is a great thing. You know, I would the bottom needs to fall out for all every human being, shatter their belief systems, release all these misperceptions of who they're not or who they should be or supposed to be, and let their light shine. Okay, because here's the thing in that light, there's nothing but pure love and light, pure, pure, unconditional love. That's it, that's who you are in the core of your being. If you're not experiencing that, May the bottom fall out for you all the way. <laughs> okay. So think about this. The world right now is going into crisis. Okay. This is, I was shown this. You guys, just so you understand, I was shown things in 1976. I saw things. Okay. I was seeking. I was connecting. I was opening up to connection, uh, to communication with all these, all these beings, all these, uh, you know, beings that were, of the other time space dimension, okay? And then also I was shown this time period, what would be happening. And, you know, so I've been waiting all this time and here it is, it's coming, it's happening. So, but it's the shift, it's a great shift. It's a shift of the ages, but it has to happen, okay? But again, let's come back to you. What does this mean for you, okay? So you're gonna find out who you really are. Do you really want to find that, that light within? To me, that would be a great thing to be questing for is to discover your own light, okay? Find that light within, find your divinity, find where you actually hold and feel and experience unconditional love. 
in that place within, there's no trauma, drama. There's no good, bad, right, wrong. There's no judgments. There's no emotion. It's a pure state of being. And it's a pure state of being that fre the frequency of unconditional love. That's who we are. So think about this. Let's just say underneath all that, here's your core. Here's that love and light right here. Okay. It's inside of everyone. Now, some of you, it might be bigger or smaller. Some of you might be a little tiny speck of sand, but it's still there. Okay. So you got all this energy here, but you know, of course you can't have uh, your, that connection. You can't feel that because you got all this other debris in front of it. You got, you know, wounding, wounding, misperceptions, conclusions and beliefs about life about everyone, about, you know, everything, good, bad, right, wrong. Oh, can't see your light anymore because look, you got all your stuff in front of it. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there's jealousy, there's envy, there's greed, there's hatred, there's the poor me, the victim. Oh, yeah, look at all that stuff in there. Oh, oh what's that? What? I have light? Yeah, you do. Okay. So this is the stuff that wants to fall away. Okay, all this fun. bottom fall out, all this stuff falling out so that you can find your light. That's what this is all about. In case you didn't know, you know, your journey is a soul's journey. And it's the journey to wake up. It's the journey to evolve. It's the journey to become one with creation. Go back into the oneness. Okay, so it's like the same thing for everyone. Okay, and you're here on planet Earth. And you're having these experiences. <laughs> and this is the time period. This is one of the, this is partly why we have so many humans on the planet is this is the biggest shift of the ages that's ever happened. Okay. There's a, a major, major event in all of this. It's, it's, you know, the opportunity now is greater than ever to literally wake up. When I say wake up, I'm not talking about Oh, gee, I, I, I eat organic. Oh, I, you know, I, I, you know, I recycle, you know, I, um, you know, I, I talk good about people. Yeah. So I'm highly evolved. Really? Okay. So it's more than that. Okay. It's more than that. It's about dropping your judgments. It's, it's dropping fault finding, making others wrong. Okay. It's about being vulnerable, being real, being authentic. Okay. It's about being the real you absent your wounding, absent your misperceptions, absent your beliefs and your conclusions that simply are not true and real, okay? Have you ever noticed, like when you start going down, I call it the mind train, okay? You're going down that, on that mind train, telling a story about something that you think is going to happen, okay? It never happens how you're thinking because it's a mind thought. It's not an absolute, okay? But you go down that rabbit hole and you go down that so far and then you, you, you know, you turn yourself up, you get all just upset and angst and, up, you know, angry and frustrated and hurt and crying and devastated, poor me, all of that. All you're doing is on the mind train, believing and thinking something that isn't true or real. Okay. So as the bottom falls out, you know, you're going to be left with more of your own energy, your own self. Who are you in the, what's happening in the world? Okay. Who are you? Okay, who is this soul? What is this soul doing? What is this soul understanding? What is your soul knowing? How is your soul evolving? Okay, so we've been, if you start looking at our past lives, you know, the, the issues that you're experiencing in this lifetime, you know, you've been experiencing them for hundreds of lifetimes, the same old, same old. Okay, why? Because we didn't have higher teachings, we didn't know and understand that by facing these deep wounded places by going through with full awareness of the intensity of our experiences. We know ourselves in that energy, in that experience. Once we know ourselves at the soul level, we don't need to keep doing it over and over. Okay. So, you know, everything's about knowing thyself. It's like, know yourself. What is this? Who are you? And again, it's by, by being in the body when you're, ha when you're going through emotional places and feeling your your emotions on these the painful places that you have that you're that you're still holding in the subconscious, but by going through them with full, with awareness, opening yourself, opening your heart to the suffering of your own suffering, opening your heart to the excruciating pain that's in there. By doing so, you start to release and clear the debris in front of your heart, 
And pretty soon, oh, whoa, you start finding that place of love and light. Sounds pretty simple. But, you know, we're kind of... <laughs> We're kind of dense and takes a while for us to get it. But basically, you know, life brings us opportunities. It's always bringing us an opportunity to heal, to wake up, to clear our stuff. Now, with the bottom falling out, again, whoa, bottom falls out. A lot, of, a lot of the things that you've been not wanting to face, not wanting to look at, wanting to ignore, wanting to rise above, it's going to be right in your face. That's what's up. Okay, bottom falls out. Hmm. It changes everything. It's a game changer. So in some ways, it's going to get really intense. But on another level, it's really good. Do you really want to be living in the false self? Do you really want to be living in inauthenticity? Do you really want to be living in that, you know, put your put your face on and this is what people see? Not the real you, just, you know, what you want people to see or what you think they'll accept or appreciate of you rather than being free. Personally, you know, I'd rather be liberated than, you know, trying to be a, something that I'm not so that other people can be happy. Okay. So people, this is about your happiness. This is about your liberation. This is about your freedom. Bottom falling out is the greatest thing that could possibly happen. I hope the whole bottom falls out. I really do. Hope that all that dark energy that's not you, all your misperceptions and conclusions, beliefs, Okay, all of that stuff that just false ego, false self, may it just be gone and let your light shine. Okay, let that light shine. You know, we do have different ways that we're supporting you in this time of the bottom falling out. What we do have on November 8th, um, feeling controlled and manipulated. Okay, that's a that's a big one. Okay, so and when you feel like you're con being controlled and manipulated, there's something in you that doesn't have the ability or power from within to stand up for yourself and say, mm -mm, not happening. Okay. Not in anger or rage or frustration, but inner strength. Okay. So uh, feeling controlled and manipulated is, is also helping you to unravel the wounding that's going to occur as the bottom falls out. Okay. This is a great way for supporting, you know, your journey. And then we have um, Sarah is doing a group clearing and it's called Noble Savior, okay? You know, on some level, you know, if you think about it and realize and understand that we are multifaceted, we have everything, you know, the good, the bad, the light, the dark, everything, we are creation itself in a body, okay? So we do have that energy within us where we do have a Noble Savior. So she's going to be clearing stuff up, helping with that. And then I will be doing another one on the 22nd of November, feeling out of control. <laughs> you might feel a little out of control with the bottom falling out this November. Okay. You might want to be getting in on that clearing. Okay. All right. So I want to do an activation for the, um, for the energy frequency of the bottom falling out because Actually, hang on. What do I really want to do? I really want, I want to do an activation. Hang on. What do I really want to activate? I want to activate the part of you that can weather anything. No matter how much the bottom falls out, there's an aspect of you and it is your divine light. It is your creator consciousness that has the strength and the ability to do anything, to weather anything as the bottom falls out. So that's what I want to activate is that true light that you are, okay? All right. Basically, I'm just going to go right into the heart frequency. I'm going to go deep, deep, deep beyond the heart chakra. I'm going to go right into the core. I'm going to go right into your light. There it is. Now, some of you have little, tiny, tiny, little lights. Some of you have bigger lights. doesn't matter. It's still the light. It's still creator consciousness. It is your divinity, so right there, I'm gonna. I'm, what I want to do is activate that, so it starts to shine light on all these misperceptions, conclusions that are affecting you, all the ego stuff. Right there, we go. There we go. Now I'm gonna go right into that light, right into your light, and I'm just gonna hold the light, and I'm gonna be blasting your own light. I'm gonna be expanding your light 
brighter and brighter and brighter, bigger and bigger and bigger, coming right into that energy frequency of your divine light. Expanding, 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 expanding. Shut! Shut! There we go. Good. Light, 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 light. Uh, I'm also going to be open, 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 open the channels, bringing in that God creator consciousness, the light of the all that is, light, unconditional love, and light, suck, down, all the way down, 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 right into your energy field, into the body, right into that light that you are. Beautiful. Light. Good. Ready then. Hope to see you at the clearings.